in love with this makeup. I was like really grumpy when I started this. I've got back pain, but a good mood. This is my emotional support cup. It doesn't have a name. If you guys want to name it, please feel free. She goes with me everywhere and she's probably a little gross. I have had a rough couple of nights and a really bad morning this morning. So I need to do makeup, like really do makeup. It's real nice and sunny. So we're starting with the Fenty Hydrovisor. I'm probably not going out there but I am sitting next to a window. I always put my extra skincare on my hands. Also, I'm just trying to show off my rings. I feel like I should use different products just so that my videos aren't the same every time, but I don't really wanna. So for now, we're using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I put the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation on the back of my hand, and this is my favorite face brush, the 777 by Melt, and I like to pick up just a little bit. And then I take it on a different part of my hand and I bounce it off to get like an even coat on the brush. And then I stipple it on. A combination of stippling and little swipes. Can you hear my ring clicking on the brush? That is a little bit annoying for me. I'm gonna use more than usual because I want a full coverage base. I can hear my bra squeaking as I move and that also is bothering me. I think I burned my head with my blow dryer. I have a sore spot right under my brush. Now concealing with the KVD Good Apple Concealer. And again, using more than I would normally. The way this brush like tapers here makes it so I can use it under my eyes as well. Milk Makeup Toasted Contour Stick. A little bit extra. And blending it out with the KVD Lock It Edge Foundation Brush. I love this Melt Cosmetics brush for contouring my nose, but it was part of the Beetlejuice collection, so I'm not sure if it's still available. But any little dense eyeshadow brush should work. I saw that e.l.f. actually has a nose contouring brush, and it's double-ended, and it looks like it has a side for putting down your product and a side for blending. It looks really good. I kind of want to buy it. And then just blending it out with a fluffier brush. Again, just another eyeshadow brush. And I'm not going to blend it as much as I usually do because I'm going for drama. I'm going to put on the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Pop Blush Wand, just like so. And blending it out with the NYX 37 brush. This brush works best because it distributes the product without lifting it off. The base is looking good. My eyes are burning. I'm gonna set my whole face with the Jason Wu Ready Set Matte Powder because today I'm not going for a skin-like finish. The goal is unnatural, flawless alien. Now I'm just gonna go back in and define the cheekbones a little bit more and the nose. And to be extra, extra on the nose, I'm gonna take a little bit of white eyeshadow and I'm just gonna put it right there. In person, this would probably look a little crazy. Now I'm using Flexitarian for a wild glow, low light bulb nose. That's my wrap name. And then using this little contraption for my freckles. I love this thing. I think I've got it pretty dialed too. On days when I don't want a trillion billion freckles, I can also use this product just with a little brush and that works good too. But we are doing a trillion billion today. Now I'm gonna fill in my brows with the Bold Face Pencil in B7. Since I plucked off my eyebrows in a fit of rage, I'm gonna do them real sharp. Do you think plucking my eyebrows off was a mistake? You can be honest with me. I didn't even shade them. I like legit pulled the hairs out. There's no coming back from that. I love a thin brow. I think it looks so interesting. I just didn't like them when I was shaving them because they never looked clean. There was always like an eyebrow five o'clock shadow. And then I was like constantly shaving them to try to get them to look clean and they would get irritated and it would hurt. The vision that I have for this eye look is something blue and a very rounded eyeliner. I'm just gonna start by laying down some white just under the brow. I remember putting white under my brow with every single makeup look. And then I just stopped doing it. I think it's still a thing. And then I'm gonna use this blue. This is from Sugar Pill. And I'm gonna put it on the inner corner of the crease and the outer. And then I'll connect them ever so slightly. And bring that up a little bit higher. I'm just pressing it on to really pack the pigment. 
I'm gonna put a little bit in the center and then I'm gonna put white on top to make like a really light blue. Ooh. And then taking a little bit more blue just to blend the edges of those two together. And then with a clean brush, I am gonna blend the edges out, but only a little bit. I don't wanna diffuse it too much. I want it to stay where I put it. The urge to apply shimmer is very strong, but I think I'm gonna keep it matte. This is the ColourPop Mad About Hue palette. I'm gonna take this dark blue and I'm just gonna put it right on the outer corner and the inner corner. And then with a smaller clean brush, always a clean brush, just blending that in. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom line. So I'm taking that light blue on the outer corner. My under eyes are creased so badly. This is why I don't wear a ton of concealer. And then taking the white and putting it right in the center. I want this white to be brighter and it's not really sticking as well as it did on the lip because it's powdery down there. So I'm gonna take some Jumbo Pencil by NYX in the shade Milk and then layer the white shadow on top. Here we go. And then taking that really dark blue right on the outer corner and inner corner. And then blending very carefully. I'm layering a little bit more of that dark blue. I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 ink to very thinly line my lid all the way across. This liner is so comfortable to hold. I wanted to do a big rounded wing, but I just don't think that it works with this eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna do a little wing. I'm also gonna do a rounded inner corner. I have a connective tissue disorder, so packaging like this, I really appreciate. My joints get very sore. I'm gonna put some dark blue liner on the outer and inner corner of my waterline. And this is Sapphire Skies by Give Beauty. I really like these eyeliners. And then the Jumbo Milk Pencil in the center. Now I'm gonna put on some mascara while I think about what lashes I wanna use. I have seen people do a thing on the internet where they use lash glue and they glue lashes together to make like little spikes. So that's what I'm gonna try. This is a pair of sliced lashes and they're already really separated and kind of spiky. So I think this will look very cool. They don't really wanna stick together. They're sticking now that the glue is drying down and getting a little tacky. It looks cool. While those lashes are drying, I'm gonna do a lip and I think I wanna do like a warm brownish lip. First I'm lining with Midnight Seduction by About Face, which is similar to my lip color, just a little bit darker. And then I'm using 710 from Melt Cosmetics. It is a very unique shade. I love their matte lipstick formula. And then a little bit of Paulina in the center. It goes well with my hair. Let's put on these little spikes. They feel so icky. They're hard to put on because they're so sticky. Look at them. Ah! I feel like you can kind of see the glue. So I'm just gonna put some mascara on these. I remember making lashes like this out of strips of black paper, but this was way easier. And Sliced are the perfect lashes to do this to, and they're out of stock! But they'll be back soon, like two weeks. Setting spray. I think this is the last thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a brown liner, like a dark brown liner. I'm gonna add a few really dark freckles for no reason other than it just looks interesting. I feel way better. Would you guys wear this makeup? I would, I am. I almost forgot to show you guys my shirt. It's actually a t-shirt dress. I don't think I can show you the whole thing though. I have worn this to death. Cute little clown, hand distressed, and this is my son's writing. They're pretty long. It's almost down to my knees. Let me know what you wanna see next and I will see you in the next video.